Welcome back everybody to X4 Foundations. I'm an old guy gaming and look what I found. My understanding is that this is a very valuable uh, lockbox. Um, so we're going to use uh, Fire at Cursor to try and open this. We've got to be really careful here that we don't shoot the actual thingy itself. Oh wow, it goes faster and faster. Okay, let's um let's not rush this. I think they're gonna come around. No, they're gonna stay on that side. Okay, so let's just scooch the ship over this way a little bit. Maybe back it up a little too. Actually I'm gonna come over more this way. Okay. Don't rush it. Don't rush it, OG. I think we just have the one more there. And we got it. Nice. So, what all do we get for that? Bunch of stuff. Kion crystal, huh? All right. Cool, man. Um, so, yeah, I have been going around and gathering crystals and doing a data, uh, another data vault. Uh, here is the footage from some of that. The jump gate shut down. After 20 years of instability, during which time more and more systems disconnected, the jump gate network shut down completely in 798 NT. As every remaining active gate deactivated, the universe was thrown into chaos. Scores of star systems that depended on resources coming in from other territories were thrown into anarchy and war, as, in their panic, people fought for their survival. Diplomatic relationships and alliances that had stood the test of time were destroyed altogether. The fate of many star systems, and many people, is yet to be uncovered. After 284 years, the community of planets ceased to exist. And, uh, yeah, I didn't bother recorded myself getting the purple crystals because I did I probably did a couple dozen purple crystals but we did get the blue ones uh, and we did the data vault so if we go into here uh, we currently have an inventory worth 1.8 million um, which is really cool because that's gonna help us you know kind of get uh, well, no it is gonna help us get started with some things now I'm guessing I don't know this for sure but I'm guessing that these items that have the exclamation mark next to them probably mean uh oh maybe they mean i just haven't clicked on them yet to see what they are that's probably what they mean okay but yeah 1.8 million <laughs> that's pretty good um the bandanite crystals i mean we got 178 of them i mean just these things are like all over the place um 
but we also got I think we got like over 200,000 just from doing that data vault too and our single most valuable item currently in our inventory is this security uh, decryption system which is also an illegal thing so I'm wondering if I could go over to the pirates and see it doesn't even show the, uh, a pirate faction in here but there's a pirate base back over in one of one of the um uh 100 oh, what what the heck's that system called there's a pirate base over in grand exchange in fact it's right here and i'm wondering if we could go there and sell the black market stuff to them um you know to make that money i'm not sure so anyway i have uh, what I want to do with this money is I want to um, I want to buy a Nova because I just like the Nova and I want to buy one. So there you go. Um, but I also want to why am I still spinning? I also want to get either a hold on a second. Okay. Um either a trading ship or a miner or maybe even both well eventually we will probably get both and then more uh, and get some auto trading and auto mining going so we can get some passive income but um, I, I want to get out of this ship and in fact I might even keep this ship and have Captain Callie fly it around just so she can start leveling um, it's risky having me do that though because if we run into some enemies and they target her she's probably going to be toast but um, she needs to fly herself in order to, to level up. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm, where am I at? I'm currently into the reach. Uh, so just on the other side of Argon Prime, uh, I went up to 18 billion, uh, crossed over into Memory of Profit, and then up to the Silent Witness, and then back over to Hatif Hatikva's Choice in Argon Prime, and I dropped satellites at you know, the major stations that we came across. And then I went back into, or I went over into the reach here, and I wanted to, um, you know, check some of these uh, uh, asteroids over here uh, for more crystals. Um, so I think I'm going to do that uh, off camera for a little bit longer. If I get, if I, if I find anything more better than a purple crystal, I'll, I'll show that. But then what I'll do is I'll meet you guys back over at the pirate station and we'll continue this episode and see if we can sell this black market stuff. So I will see you guys in a bit. All right, guys, um, I'm still in the reach, and I found some more blue crystals. So these ought to be worth a decent amount of bank here. So let's get in position and get these out. I have to go up a little bit here. Okay. Now we have 310,000 <laughs> credits worth of these crystals. That's awesome. Okay. So anyway, yeah. uh, I'm going to look a little bit longer here. And then again, I'll meet you guys at the pirate station. All right, guys, we are at the wharf in 18 billion. Um, what I would like to actually do Hello is... There. Hi. Uh, I'd like to sell off our non-illegal goods first so we can get them sold and don't lose them or anything like that and then we'll go check out the pirate station so let's go to the trader's corner here and we'll sell to this dude can i help trader lugalos yahoblos yagosius <laughs> not, even, you go. not even gonna try that anymore okay so um let's see here so we want to sell um, I think I want to, this is my inventory on the left. I think I want to keep this stuff because we can use it to help train our crew and pilots and whatnot. Um, so we're currently at 591,000 credits. So let's sell the algae scrubber, all the bandanite crystals, the carbon filter, 
the herbis oh no we don't have an herb herbicide or carbon filter never mind um the men menelaian however you pronounce that crystals okay and then this rapid sand filter i guess we'll sell that and it looks like that's everything we have to sell okay so that brings us up to 1.2 million final balance good profit to you okay so we have hmm i'm still trying to figure all this out we still have some other things like like this programmable field array. Now, I I actually looked this up because it's so it's so valuable that I want to know what it it does. And we need we actually need this to make the set of drive. We only need one though, so we're gonna sell two and hang on to one. But he apparently doesn't want to buy those Can ones. Here you go. Oh yeah, he he does. I missed it up here. Sorry. Okay, so we're gonna sell two of these. Okay, um, and that gives us another 340,000, but we're going to keep the one because, again, we're supposed to, we need it to make the set a thingy. Here you go. All right, did I miss anything else then? We have four secure containers. I'm not sure what those are for, um, so I think we're going to sell those. And, you know, even if I do end up selling something now that I need later, we'll, we'll always be able to get it again. Right now, it's more important that we build our money up so we can improve our ships and get some... Uh, Passive income going and that sort of thing. Okay, so good profit to you. That brings us now up to a total of 1.6 mil uh, in the bank, which is pretty good. Now, if we can also get these, you know, some of these illegal goods sold, that's going to give us even uh, more money. So what we're going to do now, like I said, is here. Let's just do the the easy way. Um, let's Vanguard. go see if we can head to that pirate station and sell the black market goods. And if, if that doesn't work, uh, let's see, undock. If that doesn't work, then I'm going to have to look up how to sell black market goods because it's, uh, it's not obvious. Shift in. I'm actually uh, just using my mouse and keyboard for the moment, too. I don't have my HOTAS set up. Uh, okay, yeah, so let's go over there and see what happens. Uh, I am going to do a save, too, right before we get too close to them, just in case something bad happens. I'm not expecting that to be the case, but in fact, actually, you know what? Let's do our save right now. So, uh, are we in 18? Yeah, we're in 18 billion right now. That must have been my save last night. It's actually the next day in real life for me. Uh, so let's make this 18 billion two. And that way we have a save in case some things go badly for us at this pirate station. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to do a guidance to here. Raid offers pirate base. Okay, this is this is cargo. Uh, that's not inventory stuff, I believe. Okay, I'll see you guys over there. All right, guys, I just happened to find another data vault. I wasn't looking for it, but it showed up on the on the thing. Uh, so let's do this really quick because we'll get some more money and more things to sell.
All right, 239,851 credits for that. Nice. And some more some more stuff. And uh, we also uh, got a new timeline. Let's get back in the ship first, then we'll take a quick look at that. Okay. Um, we want to go to here, and we want to go to here, and timeline. Earth scientists create... And gates reopen. The gates reopen. It is impossible to know when the first of the thousands of jump gates throughout the universe reopened, or indeed, which gate it was. However, the first instance of a reopening, recorded by the Alliance of the Word, was in 803 NT, connecting sacred relic to pious mists, then an unexplored system. Messenger drones they had sent to nearby systems soon returned with news of more open gates. For almost 20 years, jump gates continued to open and close, much as they had after 778 NT, some sporadically opening, closing, and reconnecting to a new location, others turning on and immediately stabilizing. Interesting. All right, cool. I love this history stuff. It's backstory stuff. It's awesome. Helps us understand the universe a little bit more. All right, let's uh, head over to the pirate station. See you guys over there. All right, guys, we are at the pirate station. And... Pirate base. It is going to let us dock, which is good. Successfully docked. Okay. Welcome. Looks like uh, the trader's right up there so let's just walk up there and we're gonna sell our illegal goods assuming he'll take them greeting can I help show me your wares here you go uh, okay so AGI processor um, actually that that's a good price on those now if it's green then that means it's in the positive for us so let's uh, sell those. Uh, the interface unit. No, we got to keep that for Boso. We, we want to keep our programmable field array. Unstable crystals. Let's sell all of those because those are easy to get. And, you know, if I sell something really important that I should be hanging on to, I mean, we, we can always get this stuff again later. Right now, it's more important for us to get more money. Ooh, sounds like there's a battle going on. Okay, the security bypass systems. The trader does not want... Oh, man, that's loud. Traders not want to buy this item. You need to increase your rep for... Oh, crap. Okay, so we can't sell these really high-ticket items to him. That sucks. All right, well, what else can we sell then... Advanced targeting module. Okay, yeah, that'll bring us in some bank there. Modular triggers, we'll sell those. And I think that's everything I want to sell to him. Okay, so confirm that. Good profit to you. Okay, let's look at uh, look at our money now. So we are now up to 2.1 million. And we still have these two illegal items, but we can't do anything unless we figure out a way to increase rep. See the thing is I don't wanna I don't wanna decrease my rep with Argon or Talati. Uh at least not at this point in the game. So I guess we just have to hang on to those until we either use them for something or figure out a way to sell them later. The interesting thing is I've been stopped by the police multiple times now and they don't seem to detect these for some reason. I don't know why, but it's just it seems odd. Okay, so um just looking to see Oh wow, that's worth a lot of money. Kion crystal. 
We must have got that out of that big round um, lockbox that we did. Does he not want to buy that? We should check Can and I see help? see if another trader want, would want to buy it. No, he doesn't. I don't see it in the list here, so he doesn't seem to be Good interested. In it. All right. So okay, let's uh, let's get out of here. Where's my ship? Right over here. Hey, did the pirates steal my ship? I don't. Even, I don't see it. All right, here. Let's just do this. Elite Vanguard. The ship is currently in internal storage. Call the ship to an external document. What? How did that happen? I didn't do that, did I? Um, okay, so... How do I do that? I think I have to find one of those panels, right? This is where we docked over here, wasn't it? So... Display ship options. Request ship from it. None of your ships are currently stored in... What?! Houston? What the hell's going on here? Uh, let's go here. Let's go property owned. Retrieve from internal storage. station's always fighting, isn't it? Okay, so we retrieved it. So now can we just do this? There we go. Okay. Yeah, I'm not... <laughs> oh, no, I don't... I don't know how that got into storage, unless... Maybe because of the combat or something outside? Let's, let's get out of here. Hello. This place kind of makes me a little uneasy. Okay, undock. Let's, let's just get the heck out of here. Okay. All right. We're going to go back now to 18 billion to the wharf. Um, and then we're going to start looking at ships. So I'll see you guys over there. Okay, guys. We are now at the wharf in uh, 18 billion. And what we're going to do is go to the, the ship sales department. Ship dealership. So, I believe I mentioned that um, I wanted to, to get a Nova, but I did a little bit of off-camera research, I guess is the word, and I think I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to go with a Falcon. And the reason being is because the Falcon has, it, it, it's a lot tougher. It's got much better uh, shielding and hull than the Nova does. And I also discovered that I can, the Nova's got better engines. Uh, it's more maneuverable, but I can um, install an Argon engine on the Talati ship to help try and compensate for that a little bit. So if I go into the encyclopedia, there's a ship comparison thingy here, which is really cool. So let me just show this to you. So if I do add ship and I go uh, with a Falcon Sentinel and just do, um, this is some uh, preset that I was messing with. In fact, yeah, let's just use that. So this preset here, um, actually, no, let's not use that. In fact, I'm going to delete that because... I'm not sure if that's exactly right. So, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go with high preset for the at least the initial comparison, okay? Um, and that puts the Mark III combat engine on. It puts the 
Um, here, let's actually go with the combat uh, thrusters. And the difference there is that it... Decreases strafe acceleration, but increases yaw pitch and roll and speed, I believe. Right, okay. So we'll go with that. Um, we have the Talati Mark III shields here. If we went with the Argon... We have, we have less shield, but... A little faster recharge time but it's not it's not significant enough I'd, I'd rather stick with the Pilates and then uh, the weapons we want to have mark two pulse lasers because that's all we can purchase at the moment and then the software yeah we're just gonna leave the software the way it is okay so let's add this ship now we're going to add a small a Nova Vanguard, because that's the one we can get at, uh, and again, I'm going to delete these and just go with a high preset. And then we got the Argon Combat Engines. We're going to do the same thing, the Mark III thrusters. The thrusters are not exclusive to any race. They're just universal. Um, the Argon shield here. And the Mark II pulse lasers for both sides. And the software should just be the basic. Okay, so let's, let's add that to two. Okay, so if we do this comparison now, you can see that the Sentinel is much, much tougher um, than the Vanguard. But... It also means that it's going to take longer to recharge the shields, too. That's interesting that this is showing as red. That should be green because that's an advantage. You, you want less time to recharge the shield. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure. Recharge delay. Yeah, th so this one's correct because there's less of a delay before it starts to recharge. And then this is the rate at which it... <clears throat> Hold on. What the hell? This is the shield. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, that's the hull. Right. Okay. So, so the Sentinel has um, over a thousand points more hit points more for the hull. And it's all it's got over twice the shielding. But it has a longer recharge rate. So this should be showing green, I would think, unless I'm misinterpreting that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but then the delay, it's it's almost 14 seconds before this even starts recharging, whereas this is 12.10 so this is actually better so the only one I don't get is why this one's not this lower number should be better with the Nova well maybe not though maybe that means megawatt Okay, you know what I think this means? This means the amount that is recharged, not the time per tick, I'm assuming. That's got to be what that means, because it would be unusual for this to be wrong. So, anyway, you, you can see at a glance that the Falcon is by, you know, far superior to the Vanguard when it comes to its toughness. That's kind of the point here. But you can see that the Vanguard is slightly more maneuverable not by a ton but slightly but it's got less cargo space uh it can have one more crew person okay so what we could do though is we could buy a falcon sentinel here so let's go back to here falcon sentinel 
Um, let's just do the high preset. And again, okay, double check everything. So we got the combat mark three. We got the combat mark three thrusters. We've got the. Uh, no, we want the Talati shields. Did that other one have Argon shields? I don't know. We'll have to look. Mark II pulse laser and software is what it is. Okay, so let's confirm. Let's add this. Um, okay, hold on. Edit this. That's got the Argon engine. I'm confused. Okay, so we want a Talati engine on the original ship. The Talati Combat Mark III. And the Talati shields. Okay. Confirm. And then on the second Falcon, we want the Argon engine. But with the Talati shields. Which is what we have. Okay. All right. So now if we look at this comparison. If we put the Argon engines on here, we have a... Um, here, in fact, let's remove this... Uh, let's remove the Vanguard altogether. So we're just comparing the two Sentinels now. But this Sentinel, the second one, has the Argon engines. So it's a little faster. It has a little more acceleration. That's all pretty negligible, but, you know, it's got a little more boost speed. And a little more travel speed. But none of those are real significant. I mean, all, all of them are, are negligible, really. So, yeah, I mean, I don't know. What, what we could do, though, is we could, we could just outfit the, the Sentinel, but maybe put the, the cheap engine on it and then go over to the Argon station and put the, the Mark III Combat Argon on it. I think that's what we'll do. So anyway, this this ship, excuse me, this ship comparison thing is very useful. It's really cool to have this in the game. Um, so, yeah, I was playing around with that earlier. Okay, so let's go ahead buy ship, and we want to buy the Falcon Sentinel, and we're gonna go with the high preset, but we want um, we want the cheap engines because we're gonna run over to Argon and swap out for the. For the Argon engines, because we can only buy the Talati engines here. This is a Talati station. We want the combat thrusters. We want the uh, Mark III shields on both sides, which we have. We want to make sure we have the Mark II pulse lasers on both sides, which we have. Uh, we're not going to get any fancy software for now. We're going to keep this all basic. Uh, and the reason for that is because I want to make sure that we have enough money left over to buy either a miner or a transporter. And then if we, after we do that, if we still have some money, then I might come back and, you know, add like a docking computer and some of this other software. Uh, for consumables, let's add uh, 10 satellites and let's add 10 nav beacons. Let's add five resource probes. And it already comes with four flares. Okay, so that looks good. Uh, I don't want any Marines for now, but we will give it a max crew here. Because that'll make the ship more efficient. And I think that's what we want. Okay, so this brings our price up to uh, 1.1 million. So add that to the shopping list. And confirm order. And there we go. All right, now... If we uh, head back out here, we should be able to... 
Uh, we should be able to see this being built. It's not going to take very long to build it, though. Oh, I don't see it being built over there. Oh, there it is. Okay, it's being built across the way there, but we, w we won't be able to get over there before it, it completes. If we look at this... And we look at uh, property. Yeah, it's going to be done in 17 seconds. Very cool. Okay, so when it's done, we're going to teleport over there. And Callie... Oh! I accidentally hit the wrong button there. Callie's already in the... the um, The Vanguard here. Or whatever this ship's called. This piece of crap ship that we have <laughs> um, so what I'm gonna do with her is I'm gonna actually have her f be our wingman or in her case wing woman and have her follow us around so that she can get some more pilot training oh speaking of which we have a course that we can give her too uh, let's do that can I help give seminar um, so right now she is uh, just shy of two stars. So if we give her a piloting seminar. Goodbye. And then talk to her again. Can now, I help? Now she's up to uh, about three and three quarter stars. So nice. We just in Goodbye. increased her piloting skills. So we definitely want to hang on to her. And I want her to fly on her own. So that way she can continue leveling naturally. We're just going to have to be really careful, you know, with combat because... Um, you know, she's in this wimpy ship, so we don't want her to get killed. Okay, so it looks like our Sentinel is ready. So let's go ahead and teleport to the Sentinel. And here it is. And here's our new, our new Falcon pilot. Falcon Sentinel. Uh, it won't let me talk to him. That's weird. Hi, pilot. Doesn't let me talk to him for some reason. I don't know. That's weird. Okay, let's hop in the cockpit here. And we're going to undock. And I think... Um, I don't know what... Actually, we need to figure out what Callie's doing what her orders are so if we go to here elite vanguard Can I help? join my squad Confirmed. okay so she's now part of our squad and um, she'll follow us around and hopefully get some some more levels just naturally uh, by piloting that ship okay so now what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna go over to Argon uh, Argon Prime and we're gonna swap out the cheap engines that we have in here with the Argon engines for just a, a tad more maneuver ability so let's set this as guidance and I will see you guys over in Argon Prime say I can't seem to pivot my camera here it's probably because I'm in this mouse mode okay yeah I don't know something's screwy with that autopilot disen autopilot engaged I should be able to go here and then move my camera or I can zoom in and out but I can't move my camera I don't know why something's not mapped right okay well whatever anyway that's what the ship looks like from that angle <laughs> it's pretty cool looking welcome all right guys we are at the Argon Wharf we're gonna go to upgrade ships and we're going to put the Argon combat mark 3 engine on 
which is going to give a, we'll get credit back for that at the shopping list and uh, confirm order take 30 seconds cool all right and then that'll get us all set up with our brand new shiny top of the line almost top of the line falcon well it pretty much is top of the line except for the weapons because we can't do anything about that until we get more rep and uh, the software but the shields and the engines and the thrusters all of that is as good as it gets with the falcon which is fantastic it's a nice little step in the right direction for us okay so we have 607,837 credits left so I guess the next thing I need to decide is if I want to get a miner or a transport ship so if we let's let's look at uh, oh yeah let's look at Argon first um, the Talati transport ship is going to be far superior, but I think it's too expensive for us right now. In fact, here, let's let's actually look at that right now just to confirm it. Because if I can confirm that, then that automatically rules out Talati for now. Um, so, yeah, if we go here. And we go to buy ships, medium, and a vulture transport. With a minimum preset. No, we could afford it, actually. We could afford it. It doesn't give us... It doesn't give us much money... Will you guys be quiet, please? It doesn't give me much money left over, however, to... Um, to buy stuff. That's tempting. Is there anything over here we could do to reduce the amount of money? Yeah, okay, so we could go we could go with an all-round engine instead of a combat. That'll reduce that cost a little bit. Um the all-around thrusters will reduce the cost. It's kind of weird that they're putting that stuff on there for for minimum preset. Um, no turrets at all. We're just going to have to hope it doesn't get shot up. I think it has to, has to have a trading computer extension. And all the rest of the It doesn't need a docking computer because it's going to be mostly AI controlled. I mean, we, we'll probably fly it a little bit just for funsies, but... Um, It'd be nice to have a couple satellites in, but we have to just kind of go easy on that. Okay, so that brings the price to 560. Did that even change the price? It still says 567. What? Yeah, I guess it yeah, I guess it dropped it down a little bit, but not significantly so. Okay, so I gotta think. I gotta think this through. If I buy this now, it's gonna be a really, really good starter transporter for us because it's got tons of space for its, you know, the class of ship that it is. But we're gonna be really tight on money for for starting out. We'll have, uh, uh, you know, I mean, we'll have we we all, we'll have what we'll have. Of course, I could go out and get more crystals and and do some missions to help with that too. I'm kind of thinking this is what I want to do as opposed to mining. I mean, we'll we'll try mining too just to do it. But I'll tell you what, let's keep this in mind. So we're going to call this minimum preset OG. Let's look at the other option which would be a, a miner. So if we instead went with the miner and we went with a minimum preset, that would be 315. 
This has a solid storage of 1,200. Oh, that doesn't come with a shield? Really? Yeah, we gotta put a shield on it, at least. Okay, so that brings us up to 330. No weapons. No turrets. And just the basic software. In this particular case, it might behoove us to put some crew on it, just so it's more efficient. So that brings us up to 409,000. Well, that's cool. Rename ship using the, the preset. I, I can see where that could come in handy. Okay, let's name this minimum preset OG. So if we go this route, we're not completely draining our our money. Like we still have a couple hundred thousand left over. Just out of curiosity, if instead we looked at Argon, I mean I already know that Argon's. Not, neither, in ne neither case where are, are we going to have the same type of storage space. So there... The Vanguard Miner. Okay, so that has 9,800 9, storage. But it's also less money, though, too. So if we went with the all-around engine, the basic thrusters, no turrets, no... Oh, wait a minute, we have to put mining turrets on these, duh. <laughs> I forgot about that. Okay, so yeah, we have to add mining turrets, otherwise they'll have no way to mine. Completely forgot about that. Um, I don't think we need a mining drill on it unless we ourselves are going to do it, but I would like to have that, though, so we should add the drill on, too. Um, I have to assign a captain and max out the crew. Okay, so that brings us up to 377. What we'll do is we'll save this loadout. Um, oh, you know what? Sorry, I didn't start with the minimum preset on that. Okay, now let's set this back to the basic stuff. Mining drill, mining turrets. Basic software, full crew, okay. So let's call this minimum preset OG2. There we go. Okay, so that, that's better, because now, that, now we have the drill and the turrets. Okay, so we're looking at 370 for 9,800 storage space. Medium. Maronia. Select. Oh, did I not save that? Oh, no, that's a gas ship. Okay. Mineral. There we go. Uh, pre minimum preset OG2, except for that we need to add... Yeah, we need to add mining turrets to this, and we need to add a mining drill to this. And then I think everything else should be the same. Okay, so now now we're 486, but we have 1,200 solid storage. So that's really the difference. I mean, there's probably some other differences too, but those are the important things. So we're getting roughly 4,000, 3,500 to 4,000 more so solid storage, but we're also paying over $100,000 more for the Talati version versus the Argon version. Or we go balls out, we get that vulture, and we start auto trading, and then I just go do some missions or do some more crystals in the Falcon to start building our money back up. And, you know, well, the trading is going to also start making us money 
right away though too i i'll tell you what you guys we are gonna do mining i promise i i want to i want to i want to do it but i just feel like right now i want to get that vulture maybe that's the wrong move but it's the way we're gonna do it okay so minimum preset og 567 let's just double check everything now oh you know what we didn't put shields on this we I can't, I don't want that ship out there with no shields whatsoever, especially with ex as expensive as it is. Okay, so we got the minimum thrusters. Um, yeah, we we need to add shields to this sucker. Okay. So that brings, a, <laughs> it's not going to give us hardly anybody to do anything with, but um, we can fix that pretty quickly. Okay, we don't need turrets. It's got the trading software, which is important for this. Um, oh, it doesn't have any service crew. We don't have money for service crew. Yeah, that brings it up to seven. I, I mean, we can get it eventually, but we're going to have to start without it. We're going to have to start without it. Okay. We do have a pilot, right? Well, we have to have a pilot. A captain, yeah. Okay. Right, wrong, or indifferent, this is what we're doing. Um... And I might not even be able to do anything at all with it immediately uh, because we just don't have any money overhead, but I can earn it pretty quickly by doing some missions or grabbing some more crystals or whatever. This is probably, the mining option is probably the better way to do this. Oh, you know what? It doesn't have enough resources to finish it anyways, which will give me a little bit of time to go out and bring in some more cash. So let's do it. Confirm order. All right, you guys, we are now the proud owner of a Talati Vulture. It will be done in one minute, but uh, I only have 8,000 credits. So we're going to just leave this sitting in dock for now, and we're going to have to go get some more money. But we will do that in the next episode. So the plan for the next episode is I think we'll do some missions. Um, and I might do some more off-camera crystal hunting in between now and then. Uh, we'll build up our cache a little bit more. Maybe we can find another data vault or three just so we can get some overheads for us to start trading with. Uh, but, yeah, I'm. Uh, this is. This feels... It, I don't give a shit what it feels like. It's what I want to do. <laughs> you, you, some of you probably disagree. Some of you are probably saying you should have gone with the miner seed and suck all your money, and I don't disagree with that. But this is what I wanted to do, and so that's what we're doing. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.